Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from southwestern Pennsylvania and we're going to continue our playthrough of XCOM War of the Chosen featuring the Long War of the Chosen mod and uh, just in case you haven't watched my other two playthroughs of XCOM going on right now um, I wanted to let you know there's a channel update for the month of June that'll explain a few changes uh, why we're not temporarily um, recording in 4K, why I'm all of a sudden recording from or broadcasting from southwestern Pennsylvania instead of western Kentucky, so uh, check out the channel update if you're curious as to what the heck is going on and why we had uh, a gap in episodes coming out. That ex should explain it all. Uh, but anyway, let's get back in here. Operation Drunken Altar is ahead of us. Um, extremely light mission. We're going to go neutralize an advent target and he's in a vehicle for some reason. Don't they know we grab these guys in a vehicle all the time? Uh, let's get in there, launch the mission. Advent is transporting a high-value VIP through this area on board one of their transport vehicles. And the spokesman would like us to ensure they don't reach their destination. Locate and capture the target if possible. Neutralize them if necessary. Don't leave any hostile forces standing in your way. Hey, before we get into the mission, uh, if you're happy I'm back after a little bit of a hiatus on this playthrough, hit me a like. I'll, rather than mention this at the end of the video, I'm going to mention it now. Hit me a like. Help me out. Let's get noticed again now that I'm back and recording. Uh, okay, we're headed out to Jakarta. Let's make it happen. Minus 1-5, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay, let's find out where the target is. Well, there's the uh, said vehicle right there. And then the vac point is not too terribly far behind it. So that'll, that'll work out for us. Um, all right, who do we want to start with? Who's going to be the guy leading it off? I think in Gordy LaForge on this particular mission will be my scoutorama guy. Let's see. We got a little bit of high ground that we can take on the way, and you know me, I'm going to take it. In fact, I'm going to say we're going to be safe moving right up top right away. Yeah, I'll be there. And yes, we are. Trevor T-Bone Hurts, we're going to get you up here too. In fact, we introduced the team at the end of last episode, so if you missed that, you can watch the end of last episode to find out more about who we're taking. Nikolai Carpathia, we are going to get you over here with you and your sharpshooting abilities. In fact, everybody, we're just, we're just going to get up on the roof, so we might as well hustle y'all up here. Okay, as I'm moving them forward, I'm noticing this is a pretty decent looking team, at least to my eyes. Let's peek around the ladder, see if we got anybody down here in the courtyard, Gordy. Now it looks like it's, uh, other than those civilians that are in the way, it looks safe to get the rest of us up here. Um, yeah, we'll rather than get you quite to the edge yet. Yeah, we're almost there. We're gonna start running into people. If I'm surprised we haven't seen anybody yet, seeing as how close we are. Nice, sir. And nobody yet. So let's just uh, start making a move here. Nikolai, we're gonna get you over to an edge to try and give you some range for your abilities. Zydela. Once again, we're just going to hustle everybody and get them up there so we're in a position to react once we finally do Location see somebody. Confirmed. Got it. Moving. Okay, yeah, we're hearing noise down by the vehicle, just as we would have suspected. 
really surprised we haven't seen anybody yet. Uh, Gordy, let's pop down here. As you order. Oh, that was Coors. <laughs> they are on patrol. Coors is still okay to move forward. We'll, we'll deal with that. We got our lone drone over here. Have not found anybody else yet, though. Hmm. Gordy, where do we want to try popping you? We pop you here and the drone moves toward us. We're definitely exposed. Let's try peeking in this skylight, see if we got any activity down below us here. Nice, sir. Apparently not. Uh, Nikolai, I'm gonna get you on the front side, front facing here. Give good range of cover to us. In fact, you have sight on that surveillance drone. In fact, anyone else I want over in that direction, maybe we can get Keith over here for Moving a little to cover up here and then move the other two down below. Range provided they can have us the range. Let's try this. And finally, Trevor, T-Bone, we're going to get you down here by cores. Let's do this. We'll see if that uh, drone is going to make a move to flank us unknowingly. Ah, uh, there we got a sight on some more. We knew. That's four. That's about, we know about where half the enemies are. And we expected a group, if not more, down by the VIP. Um, we'll put a little overwatch on in case someone activates. That drone moves in an unkind way. On Overwatch. And oh. Okay, he's kind of moving in a potentially unkind way. We're gonna have to deal with him. Any flanks? Oh, he stopped one square away <laughs> from activating. But what's going to happen is everybody will go live, but I should still not need to use Gordy, so he'll be able to peek over the edge for me on what we got to deal with down below. But I think it's time to take care of this nasty little surveillance drone here. Uh, T-Bone, you want to take the honors on this one to get it started? That's the way to do it. Okay, nobody's in sight down there yet, but Gordy, we are going to peek you up to the edge so we can get eyes on these guys. In fact, yeah, we'll just Got do a blue it. move. Forget the in fact. Those soldiers are moving in fast, sir. Okay, what have we got over here? Sectoid Commander. Viper Serpents, Viper Serpents, and our target, and another Surveillance Drone, that's five, so that means there's another four more out there somewhere that we have not located yet. So I gotta be careful. I think at this point, uh, we'll just set some Overwatch, see which way they move, and then we'll figure in fact, I'm wondering, Nikolai, we're going to keep you up. We're going to keep you up above. We're going to bring uh, Reginald over here to maybe take cover on the corners over here. Maybe the same with you, Keith, get you down over in this direction. Okay, I'll go. And we'll keep T-Bone and Coors over on the other end. And go. For, we'll start working from this pattern here. Moving over. Um, for you, we'll just steady, get as good of a hit as we can on this first pop. It is under my watch. Are we seen? We are seen. And uh, no longer are we seen, but uh, they may start knowing. I'm guessing they've got to start be being alerted in a yellowish way <laughs> that we're up here. Uh, so let's position ourselves over here. As a matter of fact, 
I guess, Gordy, that's just where you're going to stay. For now. We'll get you guys up to the corner, because I don't think you can really move much closer. Well, maybe a little bit here without being seen. Yeah, running across here, there's a gap. They can see us. Well, it says we can... Oh, well, there's agent preview. We can see the guy from there, not here. So let's move ourselves up as close as we can so we can uh, have the best mobility to get there? up to the edge when uh, green... Time to go green. Time to go live. I run. I'm all over it. On the pod down below. And uh, unfortunately, we just don't know where that other pod might be locating. We aren't hearing any sound cues, but next turn, we're going to go live. On Overwatch. Now the best we can do. And we will just steady you up here, Nikolai. All right, this is our turn to go live. I wonder if I want to try... Running a little grenade action to activate these guys. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Get a little hurt on all of them. And yeah, make it happen that way. Here we go. Throwing grenade. They know we're here now. Sectoid commander with the big old heads, not looking, not looking like he's a nice guy to be taken on. Let's see. I'm afraid if I come over to the corner, that's where I'm gonna find out where the next guys are. Let's see. The problem is, I also have Gordy LaForge over here, which could do a little flesh on the sectoid commander, which would be more prone to that. I'm going to have to read up on my sectoid commander abilities and uh, see how much better he is than the rest. Let's see, Reginald Barkley. Actually, you can see right from where you are, you can see everybody. So that means you're flanked. So we do got to move you into a better position. Yes, sir. She's ah, and there we found the rest, just as I was afraid. What do we got? Elite Trooper, Advent Heavy Rocketeer. Holy smokes, I don't think we're in a great position right at the moment. Let's see. Well, we got the drone right up our back end here, but we got others that can take care of that. I'm trying to think. Shredder gun. No, we're not close enough for that. So we got a good, real good angle on the heavy rocketeer. So let's see, the elite trooper has pretty decent aim. The rocketeer, well, we know about rocketeers. Uh, so does that, that's, that's kind of creepy having a sectoid commander running loose amongst us. Um, hmm. So the flesh is out on the sectoid commander, otherwise we, we don't have a good position and we'll be flanked. Oh, unless we can, we can go here, which is easily flank a bull. And I don't even know if that's enough for flesh to be able to take out. We definitely have suppression available if we need it. Uh, we have chain shot available. We can't really move on the side here. We're gonna be flanked. Um, and that corner, nice safe corner. Well, we can move here get you up into position for some options here Keith let's give this our first shot here uh, I'm trusting you here um, and it definitely means we need to take care of 
and we're running out of option. Now cores, obviously we can get you up near the edge and we still have that drone in our rear end that we've got to deal with also. We've got whiplash available. Let's get you up to the edge. Well, maybe, just maybe, let's see what our justice odds are. We don't have justice except available there. That's weird, that's weird. It seems like, let me see, I guess everybody's just out of range or something. Now, Wrath, obviously we can pull ourselves towards uh, an enemy. I don't know if that's any better to take that play. That wouldn't quite take him out of the mix, but maybe we pull ourselves over here with cores. That'll give us some wicked angles on everybody else, potentially. Let's give the Wrath a try. We will be avenged! I must focus my strike! Well, so much for that. Well, we do have a flanked guy over here. Yeah, Wrath didn't work so well. So we're gonna work on the flanked Viper. Let's do it, Keith. Foregoing any suppression potential. Uh, Gordy, I'm going to have you try to take on the drone. Let's get back over here. 100% says you should be able to take it out. Question is, are you flanked in that position or not? It's hard to tell. I don't think so. That other Viper maybe could potentially flank you. But this is what we're doing. Can't have a drone just booming right in our back pocket. So right now you aren't flanked. And that leaves. And then there was one. And we got to come up with our best plan on the, what we got left. Thinking the Rocketeer is my my best chance right here. Let's light him up. Did we even hit him? Oh. Did we even hit him? Boy, did we hit him. Uh, who do we have left on here? Ah, oh, Nikolai, you're not put in with the group, so I've... I've left you out of my mind, and guess who I want to try your expertise at? We'll do a little precision shot against the sectoid commander. Nice, it looks like a good hit. Didn't quite take him out. We got him running though. Can he see us? Yeah, here we, we go. Oh, he missed. Thank goodness he just did a standard shot. That probably was the best option we could have had. Now do we have to worry about spit poison? Oh, surprise. The old tongue pull. The elite trooper. Oh, coming on. Oh, we got lucky with you, Nikolai. He played the flank game on us that I didn't even see that potential is happening. Unfortunately, Coors, you're getting a little hot where we are over here. That's not cool. You're going to be flaming wherever we try to put you. Hmm. Yeah, wherever we try to go, you're getting getting a little hot for, for my tastes here. Well, we can definitely take out the sectoid commander.
So let's get you the heat be damned and the flame be damned. Death Knell, you've got some ablative armor. You're burning. Oh, you also have a med kit. Let's hold off in case we have other options here that we can take. It's only 39% here. Sixty-nine percent on a flush, but I don't know that's enough to get him to unbind over here. So, Gordy, I was thinking of you on the sectoid commander, but maybe, just maybe, we bring ourselves down here. We have coverage against that elite trooper, although it's not good coverage. So maybe, just maybe. We do a little point blank stuff now. This is this is gonna work. This is gonna work because we're gonna take out this. We're gonna be in good cover. All that's gonna be left is the elite trooper, which is dangerous enough. Keith, come on uh, down I guess here. Be okay. Let's finish this guy off. Eighty-eight percent. I hope we can. <laughs> and we did. Uh, that leaves Gordy, and I'm almost thinking uh, we got some more flesh action going on over here. I could definitely do some hurt on the trooper. Let's get over here and help out Coors. And we can do it from a position with a little bit of cover. Let's do it. Run, 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 Gordy. Come on. Release the bind. There we go. A little worried about that delay in bind releasing. That means you, Coors. I mean, uh, that wasn't Coors. He had Reginald Barkley wrapped up. Gotta get my name straight here. We're out of practice. Let's see. That'll give good cover against that elite trooper if things don't work out for that. And finish off the Viper. Overkill with the coil gun. Now, Nikolai, it's your turn to get out of danger. Just, just for kicks. Let's see what we're looking at here. 61%. Um, maybe, just maybe, do we have any kind of explosive just incendiary? Well, we could rapid fire the flashbang, which is what we're going to do. And let's get the right angle down here and see if we can uh, pop it in here to get this guy. There we go. It looks like we got him this way. Bombs away. At least get him flash banged. I don't like that improved aim on this trooper. So let's nullify that a little bit. Now with that rapid deployment, it gives me other options. We also we have the incendiary that uh, we can put down there to start start a little damage on them, and that's the game and the way we're gonna go with it. Take this. Now Nikolai, I feel better, although he's still in great cover down there. We're going to get you up to the edge. You have the snapshot ability, and let's just take a peek. It's still 61%. We're going to give it a go, though. Not quite. We're going to work on your move and shoot game here. And Coors, uh, where can we get you? I think what we're going to do with you, Coors, since we got things covered elsewhere, that's what I, what's why I held off. We will do the med kit on you. Return to battle. Get rid of that flaming fire. Okay. 
Okay, we, he is now exposed. No, he come back. He saw that he was exposed out there. Now we're going to have to get moving pretty quick here with what we got to do before reinforcements start coming in. So let's get over here first of all with you. Let's give him a good old subduing punch. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Okay, Nikolai. We got to see exactly where he is. He's like right there behind the door. Can we get you in here on a snapshot shot to maybe where you can just finish yes. him off? Look at that. You even get to break through glass on the way to doing it. Pretty good odds. I like to think you can handle this one. <laughs> and you do. You do not disappoint. You do not let me down. Now the other thing we can do is let's just pick up the loot while we're thinking about it. Thank you, cores. Now that you're not on fire. Anything good? Iron skin PCS. We'll take it. And let's start thinking about moving out of here with some of us towards the evac zone. We're going to make some noise, but I'm pretty sure we should have them all in hand. And where is the evac point? Way back there. Let's get ourselves right moving. We'll do a little reload. Oh, yeah. Gordy will get you moving also. Okay, now we got to worry about the reinforcements. We are going to get at least one wave of reinforcements coming in. Um, I got my best weapon over here. I'm almost thinking, uh, Nikolai, I'm going to send you up this way to do the carrying. Just so I can f keep my coil gun free. Of course, let's bring you out. We'll set up a few overwatch. positions of overwatch. Um, On overwatch. see right where they drop the big unknown where are they gonna drop how many are they gonna drop and how frequently will they be dropping all of a sudden a non-mechanical mission turned very mechanical kind of them to just go on overwatch like that. And where'd the other dude go? Somewhere back in here? Oh, that we got him. He he got, he got over our overwatch. That's who we took out. We did nothing against the mechs. Now who do I have that might have anything or did I bring anything mech worthy uh, for these guys? Just a flashbang, which is no good. Hmm. Well, Nikolai, we, we definitely can get a nice shot from you. And you don't have any grenade grenades that matter to me. Um, wow, there's so many choices, I don't know where to start. No, so many choices, I don't know where to start. Let's just hope mechs can't have covering fire. A chain shot might be a nice way to go. And we'll give it a shot right here. Oh, and we missed. Well, I guess we better be careful on how we proceed at this point. 82%. Good, good. What 
kind of coil gun damage did we do? Three whooping damage. That's not good. Not good. He's uh, got some armor on him. We can fire a shredder gun. That's one way to get rid of some armor. So the overwatch has been removed. Nikolai, we're gonna see what you can do against the big guy. Not the little guy, but the big guy. And see if you can do some big time damage here for us. Uh, I asked for big time damage, not a graze. We don't have many options left all of a sudden. We got, we're got we down to our final three options. Um, Gordy, you'd be able to take care of the lightweight mech. I gotta come up with an answer on the heavyweight guy, though. Can't really get you much closer. 84, 74. Hmm. Do I run you up as far as I can, T-Bone, and count on being able to take this guy out? I gotta be able to take this guy out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, whiplash there. Well, the whiplash is looking good. Oh, whiplash is looking mighty fine. Let's have Coors take him out all on his own. There we go. All right, T-Bone, that frees you up. The reinforcement level is green. That should give us time to get out of here. Uh, we'll just do a blue move and reload. And while we're at it, we'll get you up here, Gordy. Oh, as a matter, of, yeah. Now we'll now that we got a little time between reinforcements, I'm happy to have have you, Reginald, with the with the coil gun, do the pickup. Yes, Cap. And it's time to do a little motoring uh, towards the evac zone. Uh, we can reload along the way just in case something weird happens. And we got that funky lone drone out there that we didn't account for. But other than that, I think we're safe. Problem. Ready to go. What's over there? I'm ready. For now, that's what we can do. And let's pick him up. Sure. That was the plan, Reginald, to get you as light as possible on ammo and uh, have you pick the guy I, up. I, I'll, I'll be right there. <laughs> you got the exo suit. <laughs> you got extra support to carry him anyway. <laughs> Quit complaining. All right, Nikolai, let's get you run up here. To heck with your ammo, right? We're just going to get you moving. I don't know if everybody quite has the range to move, so we'll get everybody close. Yeah, everybody didn't quite. Location confirmed. And we will activate, we will, uh, excuse me, we will evacuate as a team. All right, let's get out of here. Good job, team. On my way. Uh, I'm trusting you here. All right. I, I, I guess. That should be everybody. Yep. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. 
Very, very good. We got it all. And there is the team. Everybody got the memo of no shooting during the photos. They fight for all of us. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Let's keep it up. <laughs> Very good, two promotions out of that, T-Bone and Nikolai. Two big old promotions, I'm thrilled with that. Congratulations, guys. A none too happy VIP that we have caught, Sebastian Zorik. And we got our PCS iron skin. I think it was the only loot that anyone dropped on this whole mission. Uh, so we do have a little more supplies. Um, I'm gonna pause it real here real quick here while I take a look and see if there's anything proving ground wise or supply wise that I want to spend on and you guys don't have to watch my hemming and hawing so hang on all right we are back and I have decided how to spend the funds that we have up above I had a couple choices um, that I was looking at but I decided to go down here uh, to the shielded power coil and uh, build the Scilab on this spot. Since it's an expensive power gulping building, I've decided to build this on the coil to help uh, save some power for other things. So let's build now on this one. Scilab construction initiated. And let's get somebody in here. Do we have, wow, well, we don't have any. Oh, I know, we do have open engineers. Uh, they just happen to be somewhere else. So let's uh, <laughs> let's get up here and get into the Haven management screen. And this is where I do believe we'll find ourselves an engineer to help with the building. Uh, let's see which part we do or don't need. We'll take one out of one of the liberated regions. And then we will go back down to engineering what can I do for you, Commander? and we will build the facilities. I guess I could have gotten here a little quicker and we, <laughs> and we will assign an engineer to lower the construction time. All right, there we go. In seven days, we'll have ourselves a Scilab. Let's get back out there, see what next mission is due to pop. We got 84% on a jailbreak there. Where else? We have a jailbreak just about ready here, but we're going to scan a little more. Maybe another mission will pop. Uh, we got a 64% smash and grab. Let's do a little scanning and uh, refreshing my memory since it's been a couple weeks since we play. I got to figure out, I'm trying to figure out where the Avenger is, and I'm just kind of double checking and making sure that we don't have. Um, yeah, we're, we're okay here. So we will scan up here. Where do we have? Advent Strength 1. Let's go to Eastern Europe and do a little scanning over here. How are we set up? We set up for supply. When is our supply coming up? Supply drop 12 days? No, I think I want to on a... Oh, that's Strength 5. Strength one, so I'm thinking strength one, I'm gonna switch this Setting over for Eastern to European Intel and we're gonna scan board. over here.
One of our covert ops has completed. Let's see what other options we have ahead of us. Maybe it's time to do some part three covert options to start getting ready to go and move against some of these chosen. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the assassin first and see what's required. A tech sergeant or above will gain dodge and then one other extra soldier. It's a 12 day mission. Risks of being wounded 50%. Let's see who we got available. Riker, Death Knell. So the list at the top is what's a, what and who is available. Um, who can use some dodge. Of course, if I'm taking Gordy LaForge out, that kind of leaves me a little potentially thin. But boy, wouldn't that be a nice little extra perk for my Shinobi, and that would be dodge. So we're going to take Gordy out. We got one extra soldier to bring out and uh, let's find someone who's maybe, just maybe, a little on the lower side that's available. Charles Cyrano de Gaulle, we will bring you along. And get out there and let's see if we can find that assassin. My followers Continue our scanning over here, see if any more missions pop, and uh, or if one of the missions going will become available. This will prove to be an important step forward. Very cool. Powered armor has completed. Lots of different armors available now. Now we got a reason to gain some more cash. Uh, we spent it already on the Scilab, but we're going to have some fun new stuff to mess around with and try out. Um, we got an autopsy we could try. How is our Intel 117? I guess it could be better. Let's do the Archon autopsy first. The product of an extensive fusion of both alien biological materials and advanced mechanical support systems. The Archon is an unusually ornate design by alien standards. With an air of authority spurred by its distinctive appearance, I can only assume the aliens intended it to be something of a herald to the other forces. Okie doke, let's get back out there. What have we got available? This is New, in New Indonesia Wolf Slap. Uh, it is time to go in. It is a very light, so we're going to have a few more resistance enemies than we're used to, but not ridiculous amount. Let's take a look. Faceless Infiltrators. So we have a sit rep on this one. Advent has been placing faceless spies in places they would expect to be attacked. You will probably encounter faceless civilians. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Another little added twist on this, so uh, let's hope we don't get wolf slapped in the face. Let's take a look at the squad we're taking out. We have Mr. Data the Android as our sharp sharpshooter. No bond mate available on this mission. Um, yeah, Guinan must be injured still. I'm gonna have to refresh my memory on that. We got Q, the tech is our technical. Uh, we got our Reaper going out. That'll be a nice big help, hopefully. Giorgio Stiletto Solacoglu. Winston Bulldog Churchill will be the Shinobi, so we got a little sneaky power on this one. Christian Cristiano, CR7 Ronaldo, and Hausa Queen Amina bringing up the, the rear of this team as our gunner. Um, laser cannons, the weakest mag rifles, stutter mag, so we got uh, a lot of mag weapons on this particular one. So uh, we have a decent enough team. Uh, House of Queen Amino with her laser cannon is the weakest weapon, but uh, you know she may be doing some suppression where it's not quite as important. We'll find out. So there is the team. 
and this is what we'll be doing next time folks so uh this is zigzag zog signing off from southwest pa hey let's get back in the in the habit here subscribe if you're watching this mission and you're this far along in the playthrough and you haven't subscribed what's going on in your head and uh welcome me back like i said in the beginning of the video hit me a like help us out let's get us noticed and off on the right foot now that we're uh going again on the XCOM Long War of the Chosen.